Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this download button with a countdown timer. So if I click on this button, we can see that we have this timer displayed over here and after 5 seconds, we will have the link displayed over here. So here we can see we have the link and you can add the link of any page over here. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this download button to your blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and we can add this inside a post or a page. I'll just add it inside a post. So let's create a new post over here. I'll just click on new post. You can also add it inside an existing post if you want. I'll just create a new post. And first of all let's add a title over here. So I'll just tap download our product. Now the first thing we need to do over here is to change this mode into HTML view. So by default it will be in the compose view. So you have to change it into HTML view. Now here we can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all let's add the CSS. I'll just create a style tag for that. And in the style tag we will add the CSS. So let's go to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to the style.css file. And this is the CSS of our button. So let's copy this from here. Let's go back to our post and let's paste it over here inside the style tag. Now the next thing we will do is copy the HTML. So I'll just make some space over here after the style tag. And let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file. And first of all, let's copy the link of the font. So I'll just copy these three links from here. And let's paste it over here. And now let's paste the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's copy all this HTML from here. And here we can see we have the text of the button. So you can change the text over here. And uh, here we have the text of what will be displayed in uh, the message. So let's copy everything from here till the end over here. And let's paste it over here inside the post. And the last thing we need to do is copy and paste the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And here inside the script tag, we will paste the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the main.js file. And this is the JavaScript of our button. And here we can see we have the length of the timer. Right now it is set to 5. You can change this to whatever you want. So if we just set this to 15, your download will start after 15 seconds. And then here we are creating the link of the download. So instead of this hash, you can just add the link of your download page. And then here's the text of the link. You can change this to whatever you want. And if you scroll down, we also have the text of the messages. So here we have the message that will be displayed after the download link appears. And you can change these to whatever you want. Right now, let's go ahead and copy this JavaScript from here. So I'll just select everything and copy. And let's go to our post and let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Right now let's publish this and let's see whether it works. So let's click on publish and confirm. And here we can see our post has been published. So let's click on view post. And here we have the download button. Let's click on it and let's see whether it works. And here we can see that the timer has started and after 5 seconds the link should be displayed over here. And everything is working all right. I think we need to have an underline over here for the link. So in our original design, we have an underline. So here we have this underline. We need to display the underline over here as well. So let's see what is the problem. Let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, I think by default, the theme has uh, removed the underlines. So let's add the underline over here and let's see how it works. So let's tap text decoration underline. Right now we have the underline displayed over here. So let's go back to our post and let's add the underline. Let's scroll down and go to the download link. So here I'll just type text decoration and let's set it to underline. Right now let's update this. And let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And let's click on the download button.
And now here we can see we have the underline for the link. So everything is working all right. You can just go ahead and change the link over here inside the JavaScript. So here just change this hash to the link of your download page. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. Right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.